So now all the levels have been loaded. Hello Zenadev, thank you for joining in. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's still a good PB. I mean, I PB'd by a minute, but it could have been a two and a half minute PB almost. So it's actually a real shame. But for, thank you guys for joining in. Now, the start, this first split isn't anything special. We all know this now. But I do start to do beach 2 a little different. I try and run backwards and throw the uh, throw the knife, but, but you'll see. You'll see. Well, the point is to have the next run be subbed after. Yes, that, that is the idea. I mean, now I know I can do it. And it wasn't even the best run. I still had some time losses. Which is exactly what we're going to try and figure out right now. What are the time losses so that I can save a little bit of time on every level. On the next run. Alright, this first split is not really anything special. How do you study your reruns? By just looking at um, where did you hit the wall, where did you make a mistake, like, sort of like that. Like, I think the best way to learn is to rewatch your own runs. But that's my opinion. That's mine. Now, like I said, I try and do it a little bit faster by walking backwards nowadays instead of, instead of just standing still in the doorway and throwing the knife. And I have the feeling like it is sort of successful. I don't know, I have the feeling that this is a bit faster than what I used to do. So that wasn't such a bad start, I feel. Yeah, I also think that this is a bit faster than how I used to do it. So I try, I try and practice that this morning. Just to have something new in the beginning as well. Yes, yeah, also an unlock on the left. I am trying to improve, man. I'm trying. I'm seeing where I missed the milliseconds, so I really try and I implement every small change. Hello, Miyuyu. Thank you for joining in as well. But now I really fuck it up on killing this guy. Like, I just didn't want to fucking die quickly enough, so I still lose time on this split, which, yeah. Kind of sour, but all right. Signor Roland, da quanto tempo? Not much you can do about it. Immagino voglia aprire la. Plus, it's so early in the game that you think, you know what? Let's just continue, because you never know what the rest of the run is gonna look like. There's so much time to save in the in the end game, in the late game, also in the mid game, but. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I hate it, man. Sometimes you get a first try headshot, but sometimes at beach too, he just doesn't want to die. Because if he died instantly, that would have been a beautiful beach too. But, hey, nothing you can do about it. Just gonna continue. I am commenting my run, yes. I just got this run offline, Miyuyu. And my PB, my new PB, but now I'm re-streaming it online so that I can have it um, on my Twitch and cut it up and send it to YouTube and then send it in to be verified. But now I can also study what I did wrong in places at the same time and give a little bit of commentary on a, uh, on a run that is otherwise completely silent, which I think is a bit of a, uh, a bit less interesting to watch. 
Cosa conti di fare su quella barca? Riservato? In mio parere. Ah, capisco. Alright, we're just waiting for this shit to be over. And then we can actually start to analyze the run. I don't get stuck anywhere and I feel like I do this jump all right, but maybe I could do that better. here for some reason like I had a just glitch in my brain and I just thought no I don't need to pick it up there's a chair inside mm -hmm. but then it's like yeah now my ammo count is really messed up and I'm taking damage like it it wasn't really a strong idea it's just kind of yeah in the moment I just did it stupid like that not too bad I didn't get the karate chop in the neck with the guard. That's kind of a waste of time, but all right. I got the vent all right, which is for me more difficult than it seems. Mm, kind of missed the button that's also really fucked up so it could be a much better bank much better beach too so it's not like we're gonna have a timer that can't be in the green for our next run which I'm actually very happy about to have a little bit of a red in this run so that in the next run we're gonna be we're gonna be able to just juggle around a little bit of green timer instead of a red one and now here I think yeah I don't really care much. I mean, we can always restart, so I just drop down. I mean, I don't care much about the glitch. That can kill you immediately. Yeah, it's average. It's not anything special. But like I said, it's also nice psychologically for the next run to have a green timer. Nella sua deposizione ha persino dichiarato che non ha l'animo dell'omicida. Davvero commovente. Ma lei capirà che non posso far leva sui sentimenti. Solo le prove contano. E io ne ho una schiacciata. Emery, le istantanee, per favore. Yeah, exactly. Just psychologically, it, it motivates a bit more to just see the timer a little bit in the green. And you just keep, keep it there. I don't know, it just works very nicely. Quell'edificio, lo vede? Proprio sulla traiettoria. Which is also something that I did in this run, where after a while, I once I get the timer down in the green, my focus increases. So. Allora, dov'è quel file? Non ci crederà mai, colonnello. Il file di Steve Roland è sparito dal Pentagono. Mi confermano che il suo uomo sia stato ucciso durante una missione in Messico più di due anni fa. Beh, la sua vedova avrà una bella sorpresa. Ma prima di annunciare la sua resurrezione, Capitano Roland... Che diavolo succede qui? Hey. But... Even though it was such a mediocre bank, it was still a gold, which is kind of weird. idea here is just not lose time because if you get just a little bit of stuck seeing as it's such a short um, split just any small mistake can actually lose you quite a lot of time
Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was an early flashback finish. I didn't I didn't notice any of that. Like Nah, no music. Got a little bit of stuck on that last doorway. So it could have been ever so slightly faster. But we still saved a little bit of time. Better than losing time, so hey, we're going down, which feels good. But I mean, we're still in the first five levels, so this still doesn't mean anything. This is still just an awful run, just like all the other awful runs. Now, roofs, I believe, was awful. I think I missed both these headshots that are coming up. And I was just slow on the uh, on the grapple. So that's four shots, that's really fucking slow. That was also slow. Like, why? And now, the first time I managed to no scope both of them immediately, like that never, never happened. But then she sits down for very long. Like, it, <laughs> this level's really annoying. I just missed this guy. In the previous attempt, I got him in, in and no scope again. So I'm starting to kind of notice where I need to aim. Here I get stuck. It's like, why did I get stuck there? But alright, a lot of time to save. Which is good. I mean, it means we can really juggle around a lot of green. Now, because I have so little health, I don't run in immediately. So this could have been faster. <sighs> but as I always say, the first five levels don't fucking matter. So whatever it is, just not lose too much time. The, the run really starts in the next level. Now here I miss, and I miss, and it's like, why? <laughs> why am I missing? So there's a lot of time to save here in this level. Yeah, exactly. But it's also going to be more obvious what makes it that I save time because of how the timer is now on my PB. I don't know, I think, I think this is a great PB to run against. It's just annoying that I didn't finish it sub 130 because it could've. But alright, fuck it. Let's continue. Alarme! Now this last part... It's really important where you throw the grenade, I noticed. It really has to land in the right spot in that alleyway, or else it, the blast doesn't kill both of them. Or one of them has the opportunity to run inside and survive, so it's a little bit of RNG depending on where they run off to, but also depends on where you throw the grenade, if it's actually going to be successful. And I actually managed to do it right here, so... Yeah, this is a point where there's not too much time to be saved. I get them both in the first shot, so it's... Eh, 
As good as you could hope for, basically. Too bad I didn't get that guy first shot, but alright. And now here, I don't want to waste too much time anymore, because if you're not there on time, and all of a sudden the cutscene and eh, the, the trigger to end the level changes position. So... You don't want to waste too much time on those worthless guys in the end. Alright, now the run really starts, finally. We're only four seconds behind PB, so it's not the most horrible thing in the world. We kind of aim punch there and I couldn't do the jump, so that's a bit of time loss. But alright, not too bad so far. I like to do it with the barrel so that this guy already dead and you can pick up the ammo. So you have a bit more ammo to play with. Lucky we have more ammo here and here I make so much time loss. Like why the fuck do I stand still? I should have taken a step forward. Like, really stupid. So that's time loss for nothing. I'm watching my PB, yes. We're kind of looking where I lose time. And also commentate over a video that doesn't have anything to... Um, otherwise doesn't have anything going on commentatively. So yeah, really fucked up. I lost a little bit of time there. But we're still less than 5 seconds behind PB, so that's not the worst thing in the world. Cal, welcome. Thank for joining in. Right. Got that guy, good. Didn't move. Two shots, I mean, you couldn't ask for anything more. Yeah, maybe that I'm standing further back, but my aim is just awful. Now I started doing this, that I just jump backwards, and it it's amazing, I have to tell you. Like a revelation. Hello, Lockdoc. Alright, now hopefully we don't get this alarm, but we don't, but I still waste a lot of time standing there just aiming, like really dumb. So, there's a lot of time still to be saved. Got that guy, now here I waste time on this guy, like... Alright, at least we get the generator. And I believe I finished this level 0.3 seconds slower than the world record but the world record s shot all his pistol bullets so had, uh, he had a pretty slow emerald too but still i mean it's same pace as world record so nothing to complain about Nice drop down, so that's okay. Didn't lose any health, really. But this is good. Is this stream all right, guys? I have the feeling that the stream is not really... Um, ...holding up, or am I incorrect? Or is the stream okay? I'm really wondering now. But okay, just go. And then I miss this guy. Like, okay, it doesn't matter much. Like, cost me one body armor and one health. And some some ammo, but I mean we still have enough ammo. And 
now I also started doing this, but I could be much faster with the quick save, quick load, so uh, this is not the, the, the best in the world. And now comes one of the most stupidest, stupidest time losses that I've ever had in this level. The grapple was beautiful, and then I close the door in on myself, like it's so fucking stupid. So there's a lot of time to save on this level. Like damn man, I felt like such a moron. Yeah, no exactly, but I'm like okay, let's just continue. Like I have stupid things like that all the time. Let's just continue. We need the practice as well. Like until a run completely dies, uh, let's I just try and continue. And I also wanted to see how much time loss is this, actually. So let's just finish this shizzle. I wouldn't worry too much, Cal. If I can do it, you can do it. Come on. Plus, you have the opportunity to ca Cal to um, to actually get world record in this category. So, yeah, if I were you, I'd just focus and not bitch and moan all the time. But I know how it is, man. Sometimes it can be really, really frustrated. The frustration. Oh, we'll get to the part where it gets frustrating, Lock Dog. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to get really nasty in a little bit. Or in a little bit later on in the run. Alright, just gathering some um, ammunition and seeing as I have the time to kill these people, I just use the crossbow because, yeah, it don't cost me the other ammo. This should be enough. And now I'm kind of contemplating, like, should I use this crossbow in the next level? But then I think, nah, let's not. So even though I got this stupid door thing, I still saved a little bit of time. So then I think, okay, uh, let's just continue. Fudge it. Immediately reload, so I have one bullet extra. Just to make sure that we can kill these three guys with one clip, and I managed to do so. I jump over here, but I get kind of stuck behind that door thing. But still, faster than what I normally do. And now comes the most awful part, and that's killing those three guys that are further up on the map. And they're also the reason why I really, really, really despise this level. I really hate this level. All right. Granata. And then I first think that's the only guy, but then it turns out there's another motherfucker. All right. And I just stand still because I'm also if I'm also running, then my aim is like it's just wasting even more time because I can't aim. But yeah, really slow Emerald Four. See if I can get the button first try. No. So yeah, a lot of time to save on this one. And here... Like... 
so fucking slow. That was really disgusting. Like, that was so awful. So, yeah. Save a lot of time there as well. Hello, Rotor. Thank you for joining in as well. We're just watching the uh, the offline PB that I just got. Didn't get through the hole immediately, but ah, uh, the grapple was fine. One shot, one shot. That was okay. That was a one shot, so that's fine. Fucking awful. Even worse. And that was just like six shots for those three guys. Horrible. Okay. How are you, Rotor? Now I have all the time, so I just run back and grab some health. <laughs> Not that you really need it in this level. But I just like to do it. I'm a hoarder. I like to hoard items and stuff. Uh, three shots, so that's nothing special. These guys don't matter much. I at least got that guy pretty quickly, but maybe Carrington is sitting down longer than he needs to. Maybe I could have been there a bit earlier. But it's the same as roofs. I mean, even if you do it amazingly, they might still sit down longer than you would want them to. Now, here I have two nice headshots, so that's pretty good. Could have been a bit faster, but it wasn't too bad. So we save a little bit of time. So now it's time for uh, for DSS. Oh. Ah, decent headshots. They didn't hit me, so we have enough health. So if we can get the med kit from the guy before DSS. Then I might even contemplate not even going to the cupboard in the next level, but who knows, we'll see. I mean, I'm getting shots, we mustn't lose too much health, or else I still need to go to the cupboard in the next level. Alright, good amount of health. But then I just ma don't manage to kill that guy quickly enough, and I think, fuck it. We still have a good amount of health, but we didn't get the medkit, so we'll go to the cupboard. We have three shots. Three shots should be enough. Hello, Alex. Thank you for joining in. I don't do DSS because it's just a waste of time. We're re-watching a um, PB I got. But welcome, man. How are you doing? So yeah, I don't have DSS in my PB, so this is a time save. And it's actually a gold, so that was pretty nice. Not wasting any time on people that I'm shooting at and just running along. So that was pretty nice. Now jump to the cupboard because we have too little health to survive it without medkits. We didn't pick up a medkit. 
So we're just gonna grab the two from the cupboard so that we know we'll be able to make it. Yeah, let me open my beer. It's hydration time. Cheers, everybody. Get malt? All right. Come si senti, figliolo? Questa è la vedova di Steve Roland, un uomo di cui hai assunto l'identità. Hello, J Games. Steve era numero tre. Eat? No, man. I. This is liquid bread that I'm drinking. Nah, I'll eat later. Ma Steve è riuscito a trascinarsi fin qui prima di morire. I'm not so Dutch that I always eat at six o'clock. Plus, I live alone, so I don't really have a schedule of when I need to eat or when I need to feed somebody else, or hey, you know how it goes. Pagan un pasafat. Di fronte al fantasma di Steve, faranno un pasafat. Potrebbero anche capire che li hai tradite tu, Kim. So yeah, we have three bullets in the revolver. We gotta grab two medkits from the cupboard. And if possible, we also grab the, the, the body armor that's there. And that big medkit in the background, we're not even gonna go for, because it's out of the way, basically. Takes a few extra steps, which just cost you a second for nothing if you can manage to have enough health but all right see if we can kill the rocket launcher guy with three bullets slow pickup but all right first shot that's good first try up here as well so this is looking at like it's gonna be a good kello too Stood still for just a second there. Just to kind of aim and... Yeah, I don't know, survive the blast or something. But alright. And I still think, ah, fuck this run. So I just jumped down completely. I don't know. I hit that tree, so maybe it didn't save me any time doing it like that. But, um... Yeah, I still didn't really care much for the run. But okay, we saved a little bit of time. And now we're just gonna practice jumping. <laughs> As always, I mean, there's nothing else to do here right now, so... Might as well just practice your timing on jumping. Il nostro nuovo paziente ha recuperato la memoria. Allora, amico, ho sentito che soffre di amnesia. No. Signor sì, colonnello! No. Silenzio! Stia tranquillo, a Plain Rock disponiamo di un centro neurologico. Because this cutscene is awful. This cutscene is really, really awful. Just so long. I mean, you could go to the bathroom, but I didn't have to. I could have got something to drink, but I didn't have to. So, and you're just sitting here. Wait. Wait for things, for things to go by. Alright, now, this is manipulation that you can do. To get the guards to open the door sooner. And I think I kind of get it. I keep trying it anyway because the health situation in this level, I think I got it down. I can manage to get to the end, even if I get punched by the guards three times. Which, 
Cost 28 health in total. Getting batoned by or punched by this guy. Now you first want to make sure that the guy behind you makes it through the gate correctly before you continue or else this guy just stands still for a second or two. <laughs> it's that bad, I know. Alright, so the way I understand it is you let him punch you here. You go and stand there and then the moment he makes the corner, you run into him. Hello Worm, thank you for joining in as well, how are you? We're just watching a PB that I got offline. And then after this sentence, you run into him again. And I think I got it, and I did get it. So that was pretty nice. That's a few seconds saved. And now comes a really annoying time loss, which is just being a bit too overexcited and jumping sideways off the boxes. So it's just stupid little time loss. Kind of bump into that wall, so that's kind of stupid. A little bit of time loss. You're well? Alright, good to hear, man. Like I said, we're just re-watching my PB I just got offline. Just to see where I lose time everywhere. So that next time we can do better. Alright, here he's nice and close to the door so we can pick up. But then I reload. So I'm still wasting time. That's really stupid. Hmm? I killed him just a little bit late. Could have been like a little bit faster so that I pick up the key immediately. Alright. Get the fuck down, bitch! <coughs> yeah, to be honest, during while doing this run offline, offline runs is just more quiet. Frustration is more inside. Now here I try and get him closer to the gate by just leaving a little bit of time in between the shots so that he has the time to run towards the gate so that you pick up the shotgun. And now here I think, fuck it, I'm not gonna waste my time on anybody, I'm just gonna run. I should be able to make it with this amount of health. And in the next level you don't need a lot of health. Ignore this guy. And then I jump. I like press the fucking button and I jump instead of crouching and then this like what the fuck man so a lot of stupid time losses there but because of the door manip I do save time on this level You could check Steam or GOG if you want to buy the game. Alright, now, just use the health, or else it's just an extra item in the item list that can take up space and make me fumble around. Now here I don't get stuck in the door, but I get stuck on the other door. Alright, picking up the 44 ammo went really quickly. This went really nicely. I didn't want to duck. Like sometimes it just doesn't respond to my uh, my input when I press duck. It's really annoying. Now we have, like I said, I mean health is not a problem, we have a good amount of health. The only thing that we need to worry about is this guy stabbing us with his syringe. 
because during the the run that I had before the practice run or the warm up run, I got stabbed by that motherfucker twice, and that cost you so much time. Numero tredici, è ora della visita. Andiamo, è l'ora della vivisezione. Di qua. Nah, not the best shooting in the world, but I'm actually more focused on not getting stabbed by this motherfucker than I am focused on shooting. Like, I don't know. Having that happen just kind of made me a bit too cautious. So it could have been a faster fight, but yeah, I mean, I'm still not unhappy with it, seeing as I didn't get stabbed or anything like that. Yeah, it's it's not an expensive game anymore. Really not. No, true, true. Sometimes I mess this fight up even worse, definitely. So. And, like I said, I'm not unhappy with the fight. It could have been a bit faster. <sighs> now here, I switched to the fists and to the key, but then he has the gun again. And I'm a little bit indecisive, so I waste a bit of time there before I grab her by the neck. Didn't get shot in the back by those guys with the shotgun, but then I get shot in the face by this guy with the shotgun. But okay, not too much time wasted overall here. Pick up some ammo. Alright, now let's see how this goes, because in that same practice run that I was talking about, I got everything on this level first try. And I felt so good about myself, I thought, let's 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 do that again. Let's do that again. <laughs> But that's not what happens. Like, this is already starting out to be horrible. But I grab the grenade for the next level. I just want to have it. And the Kalashnikov. The Kalash. Alright, now this jump isn't so difficult. Here I mess it up already by kind of sliding back down. Like, why? Taken a long time to set up, but I'd rather make it first try. But that could have been faster. And now this one, the most horrible jump in the game almost. Alright, failed one time. Almost. Third try, okay. It's not the most time loss in the world. Compared to my PB, it's... Almost the same, I think. So, I mean, not the worst canyon in the world, but... Yeah, but I don't use VSS, so for me, that is the most annoying jump during my run. But okay. Lost a little bit of time. Got stuck on that fucking wooden board. And here goes the run. Lovely. Fuck it. Let's just continue. Like, now I'm in the mental state of fuck this shit. It's just a practice run now. Like, fuck it. Fuck this. I know, I know. Nice revolver shots. Like, I'm really happy with that. Grenade is fine. Now these revolver shots are okay. Making it so that I also focus on jumping here. And then I managed to do this one. I kind of practiced that a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I know what I did wrong, criminal. I know what I did wrong. It was just, eh, sometimes you get so overexcited and then you make a little mistake. 
but I know where I made the mistake in that first jump. But okay. And now this goes really smoothly. I'm really happy with how this turned out. He even managed to shoot that board like that was the way I normally do it. That wasn't actually so bad. And now here I just kind of do the rocket launch a little bit too early. And then I shoot a little bit late. So that's kind of like time loss. Could have been much smoother. But overall, even with all that, we do save a few seconds. No, 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 you don't have to keep your mouth shut, criminal. But I'm just... Um, acknowledging the fact that you are correct. By saying that I do know. Alright, now, so, uh, even though I'm in the plus, or uh, in the minus, in the green, I'm so, I'm still thinking like, okay, should I do it, should I not do it, should I do it, I'm gonna do it, fuck it, who gives a shit, it's a shitty run, man, I lost so much fucking time, like, fuck this shit. And then I actually managed to do it. Alright, now comes the most difficult part of the whole level, which is surviving the grappling. I have so much more difficulty with this grappling. And thank goodness Criminal told me just before I started this run to hold S on the second grapple. Because I didn't even think of that, to just slow down. But okay, I did. I did. Yeah, that was pretty lucky. But like I said, I really didn't care. But the moment this worked, like now, I'm nervous. Now I'm really fucking nervous. Because if I can manage to do this, pretty slow, but I managed. Okay, now it's going to look like a really good run. So let's let's continue. Now I'm getting really nervous, which you can Im immediately see because now I start fucking up this swimming part a bit, and then I start fucking up the jump at the door. Like, I just notice, like, I get really nervous all of a sudden, like, fuck, this can be it. Like, if this goes on like this, if we can catch the time-saving Quay, then this could be a really good run. So, yeah, really sloppy jump at the door. Like, you can really see that I'm just getting nervous and making really stupid mistakes. But still minor ones, still minor ones, so nothing that's going to cost me. But then here this door doesn't want to open, so... Yeah, for some reason that cost me a bit of time. Alright. And then... I miss. <laughs> like, what? Okay, fuck it. And then... I just managed to do this one. I'm like, okay. Now, because this guy is following me and I don't have much health, I just reload this checkpoint just to kind of reset the enemies a bit. And here I get stuck on the barrel a little bit. It cost me a few milliseconds. Hopefully alert. Yes, good. And this part I really like. I love this part of the game because you can just take it easy. And you can just kind of play the game the way it was actually intended. By the developers. Just kind of sneak around, silent killing people. Yeah, but that's why I really like this part, where you have to wait for these guys anyway. So now you can at least, for two minutes, play the game <laughs> just without having to focus on time, without having to feel rushed, without feeling... Yeah, just the excitement, especially now with... Man, now that I've 
did the really difficult strat in the previous level. And it's really nice to have this quiet part here. So I kind of, I do calm down a bit here. So it's, it's really nice right now. I just have the opportunity to breathe and to just think, okay, let's do this. Let's not fuck it up. Let's focus. All right. Now, I already equipped the, uh, the AR. Because I know I'm going to use it after this. Quickly wait for these guys. And then the moment this first guy gets close to that line of shade. You can basically go for it. I'm still very slow with the quick save quick load. Because it's F5, F9. Like really annoying buttons. So that could have been faster. But hey, we made it. And then take one step back, get the AR ammo. Yes, good. Switch to the bomb. Could have taken one step further forward to place the bomb just a bit faster. But hey, we saved time. No, I want to learn F5, F9ing very quickly. I think I can manage to do that. Once I train it a bit, I think I can do that very fast. I was just thinking of using uh, stickers to sticker um, them with white. And then here I switch weapons and I'm just wasting time. I want to have this med kit because with the fight with Mikal, it could be that I just need the health. Could be that I fumble with the weapons and he shoots me more than I want to, so I'm just making sure that I have enough health. But that did cost a bit of time, really stupid. And the reason I switch weapon is because most of the times when I play this, I start with an item in my hand, so I wanted to switch to the weapon, but then it switched to the M60. Apart from that, it's going all right. Now this guy has an AR nade, but I'm not going to pick it up. Because it's just going to cost more time. Tredici. Numero uno ha sottovalutato le tue abilità. Vuole reintegrarti nel gruppo. Alright, and then just before you finish your mag, quickly switch to the M60. That was pretty nice. One of the fastest kills I've ever had. A little bit of fumbling around, but it was still pretty good. So we save one second. Boom! Close to being ideal, I know. But I still lost some time here and there, so it could have been smoother. Now, this guy didn't get a quick kill on him, so he was kind of standing in the way. Get stuck on the chair. Here, I forget all about the grenade. I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. So I didn't open the door immediately. So it could have been faster. Here, I still, even though I'm being aim punched, I managed to swing, so I'm really happy with that. And now comes the bane of my existence in this level, which is the drop that can insta-kill you. If you get this fall glitch bug. No fall damage. No. Alright, kill this guy quickly so I can just grab the grenade. Really nice. And now I think, fuck it, run is over. Oh no, I manage. Okay. Cool. So we can continue.
All right, and now for one of the most difficult grapples in the whole game. Although the most difficult grapple in the end is the one that really fucked me, but we'll get to that. All right, let's see if this works. That was pretty nice. Can we get on the submarine immediately? No, because I'm too far to the right. I'm not perfectly in the middle. I take one little bit to the left and we manage. Yeah, the hook was good. The hook was good, but not getting on the sub was kind of kind of shit. But hey, we're half a minute ahead. So Now it all comes down to are we going to get a good sub one? Or are we gonna get a bad sub one? And I'm getting stuck on the fucking ladder. Fuck this ladder. Alright, here I do it differently now. I don't stay take any steps forward. Because I'm already too fast. So why would I take three steps, little steps forward if I'm already too fast? All the time. So I might as well not take those steps forward. And I'm still fast enough to get here. With the cutscene starting exactly when I touch the door. So, I'm still fast enough. I know that. Alright, switch to the pistol so we at least have a cross here to aim with. Wait a little bit. And perfect timing. Missed the button. So that's a little bit of time loss. But like I said, once you know you got it, you kill this guy, you feel like a king. You feel great. Switch to this gun because I'm going to use it in the next level. But I love this level. If it works with you, it's a really nice level to do. Right, now. Let's go. Let's see if we can do this quickly. The asshole closes the door on me. Really annoying. Get stuck on those bodies, really annoying. Could have gone down the hole a little bit faster, but alright. Hello Retro. Uh, I'm just studying my PB, I just got offline. See where I can save more time. A little bit slow kills here, but alright. Grab some extra ammo, even though I don't need it. And see if this works. I have to say, this, the setting up that door and getting in didn't take me a long time, so I'm happy I can do it pretty fast. Hello Nick Stuff, thank you for joining in as well. How are you guys doing? And yes, I made it! Okay, stand backwards to pick up the key faster. Switch to the key immediately, like, I, I really practice to also get the item management this level correctly. You have to switch the keys multiple times. Good kills without wasting too much time. Close the door. Get down. Alright. Switch to the key on time. That's good. So, I mean, here I was feeling like, alright, this is actually turning out to be one of the better sub twos that I've ever had. Kind of got stuck there, but it didn't waste any time, so that's fine. Super busy. Alright, grab this AR nade. And let's see if we can get a good grenade throw. Because I haven't tried, I haven't practiced this really, so I just hope I get it right. And this is the most beautiful grenade in the fucking world. Like, what? Okay, cool. Now I feel real gangster. So let's not fuck up this hook. This grapple here. Alright, quick kill. And I immediately switched that. Like, I've, I. That was the fastest I've ever switched to the hook before. Could have clicked that button a little bit faster. 
piccolo cambiamento. Devi sabotare il sottomarino per sfondare il carro. Buona fortuna. I could push that. Didn't need to take that health, but it's also not uh, necessary to have so much health with me. And I'd rather go to 100 because I'm going to be very close to this other douche. And who knows, he might unload completely into my back and into my head. So, just to make sure. Now, here I get a little bit stuck. And the jumps don't go as well as I wanted, so I think, fuck it, let's just swim for the end. Now, Criminal told me to take the whole of the extreme left, so I do, instead of the extreme right. And we saved a little bit of time. That was okay, yeah, I'm really happy with that sabotage. Alright, now it's time to not fuck up, because I can save a lot of time on this level, because in my PB I really fudged it up. Alright, take a bit too much time aiming, but here I'm starting to get really fucking nervous. Now here I stand still, even though I don't need the ammo, but I did, so that's something I didn't have to do. So that's a bit of time wasted. But alright. Kinda get stuck, could have fallen down the hole a bit faster. And here I just wait with healing. Always I go there, out there, and I think I heal, but I shouldn't. So here I just wait with healing for as long as I can. Hopefully I don't get aim punched here. Alright, good enough. Alright, that was pretty decent picking up all that shit. They hardly hit me, so I have more than enough health. Let's see how many shots I get in on the heli chopper. That's one. That's two. And that's actually number three. So this is the best best heli chopper I can get. Alright, shoot your bloody missile, good. Now you can just kind of lock him in place. So this this is... Yeah, I mean, I couldn't wish for better. And here I kind of forget to walk towards the gate. Fast enough so I know I'm not going to make it. So I immediately just focus on going around the left side. So yeah, that, this this is one of the best ways I could have gotten, and my PB, I lost so much time. <coughs> but we all know the most annoying part of the whole game is starting now. Let's see how we do with a hotel. All right, fuck it. What? Fucking bitch. All right, at least it didn't fail. And now I'm so nervous, man. I'm just fucking everything up. All right, grab the key. All right, at least manage to do this correctly. Now I hardly have any bullets. Really stupid. State perdendo il bersaglio. Fatto. Allerta le unità di rinforzo. Ah! addosso. But alright. Yeah, kind of fucked up, but like I said, I'm almost two minutes ahead. So I know this is a sub 130, and I'm really, really fucking nervous right now. You have no idea, like, you don't see it in the mouse, because I'm hardly touching the mouse, but I'm, I'm really fucking nervous, and because I'm already fumbling around, I'm just so scared that I'm gonna fuck something up, and the only thing that is going through my mind is the grapple that you have to do in Sank 3. But alright, we're two minutes ahead, so 
This can be a sub 130. I, I'm capable of doing a sub 130, so I know this now. Even without Spats 1, I am capable of getting a sub 130, so... Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. This is like... What the fuck, man? This is great. This is fucking great pace. Alright, now I'm just walking backwards to see where is the edge where I can stand so that I'm closer to the door without this thing failing. But as you can see, it's when the wooden part is in the bottom as well, visible. Alright, and then you already walk backwards. That was pretty decent. But then here I fuck it up because I reload. Fucking hell, man. And then, again, I have to walk backwards to get that guy's ammo, so that costs me a little bit more time. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, the exit was fine, but everything after that was really sloppy. Alright, let's see if we can get a quick kill on this douche. And then I get stuck on the table. I couldn't move for a little bit there. Alright, switched the key pretty decently. But I didn't switch to the gun. Nicely enough. So I have to switch here. And I get two shots in, so it's not really great. But hey, at least I got him reasonably quickly. I'm losing a little bit of time. But that was just because getting that woman at the alarm and fumbling around at the end. Alright. My favorite level when it comes to Sank, because the other three I hate with a passion. But this first one, I really like this first one. So let's see if we can do this reasonably well <sighs> went a little bit too far to the left there like could have been a more straight line but all right could have thrown the knife there a little bit faster okay let's just not fuck it up that's the most important thing I mean we're still almost two minutes ahead so let's just not fuck it up grab a little bit of extra ammo get stuck there but okay I don't really get this swing nicely, but okay. Stand still to kill him, that's a lot of time wasted. Stand still to kill him, that's a lot of time wasted. And at least I get all the body armor here, so that's nice, but I mean, not, not something that I really care much about. I don't know if I jumped in the cutscene correctly, I have the feeling I didn't. Yeah, horrible jump, I know. Horrible jump. Alright, let's just continue. Not the worst sank one, so... Actually save a little bit of time compared to my PB. Alright, now here, I want to take it safe. Because, yeah, I did so in my PB, so if I can do it safe here... We're not going to lose time, and we might be on our way to a sub-130. But the problem is, I take too long, because this guy just wanted to start moving. I had to be faster, and I stand still to switch, and it's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. But I managed to get through, so okay. 
But yeah, I'm getting really fucking nervous now, man. I know I'm gonna fuck this up. Like, I know I'm gonna fuck this up. Got stuck on her, so that's a shame. A little bit of waste of time. Here he gets stuck on the door for a little bit. Oh, guess he can, didn't get stuck there. Good. Now here I'm just taking my sweet time because I don't want to fall down. Sometimes I fall wrong and I waste time or I die and I just don't want to do that right now. So. For some things, I'm just taking my time a little bit longer, just to make sure that I don't fudge it up. Alright. Comes the most awful level in the game. And this here... What you see now, I'm never gonna do this again. I hate this so much. Fuck crawling through that fucking sewer. Fuck this fucking game. But I try it anyway. Because I think, fuck this. It's not gonna be someone birdie now. So, fuck this. Let's just PB, whatever it's gonna be. Fuck this game. But that's slow. Even the second time around, here I miss, like fucking worthless. Stop fucking it up, fuck! Now that's what you get when you're nervous and you're two minutes ahead. Fucking game. Get stuck here, lovely. Stuck there, lovely. Kill that guy. Get shot multiple times, like awful. Fucking awful. Like fuck off, asshole. Alright, hit the wall there a little bit, didn't switch back to this quickly enough, so that could have all been faster. Should really practice the ending though. Alright. The most difficult thing to do in the whole game, when you're under stress, when you're nervous, this is the most most fucked up thing to do in the whole run. Just checking if I have everything reloaded, making sure I have it on the minigun so that... that I have the right weapon after the grappling. I have two medkits, full medkits, so I think, okay, I'm gonna first drop down without using a medkit. Perfect drop, like perfect grapple down. All right, heal. Fuck, I miss it. Fuck, 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 fuck. And then I miss it again. Aim punch, and I get aim punched out of the way. Like fuck this. All right, this is never gonna be a sub one thirty now. Let's just not fuck it up. Like, what the fuck did I do there? Fuck this shit, man. Why do I only have twenty five health now? All of a sudden, this is bullshit, man. All right, let's not fuck it up. Please, please we PB a bit, just a little bit, please. All right, don't have any health for the next level though, so it's gonna be a bit scary for the next level. Get shot by that douche at the end, so I have less health. All right, that was horrible time loss. We lost almost a minute. 48 seconds, like fucking hell. I'm almost dead. Like, leave me the fuck alone, man. Now, first weapon I managed to switch to with all the chaos is this, and I know this guy has a med kit. So, okay, now we're, we're in the clear. Now we just shouldn't waste too much time. All right, don't waste my time on these douches using a crossbow, because I always miss. I do waste time here picking up her ammo and her health. But, yeah, just to have extra. Now, here I always take the time to reload first. Because you have the time to crossbow. And I'd rather just take my time. Making sure everything's reloaded. 
instead of doing crossbow, then reload and then crossbow again, because then it just becomes too chaotic for me and I start to fumble around. Alright, that's pretty decent. That's one headshot. Two. Alright, all right, let's just grab this. And then why the fuck you reload them, bitch? You're wasting my time. And here, like... Wasting time running to the right, which I shouldn't have. Ah. There goes some time. At least I get her. That's good. And I think about the crossbow, but then I think, nah, let's not. Let's just do it like this. And it would have been about the same speed if I did the crossbow or the AK, so it doesn't really matter. But we still save time. Correte in contabilità e chiedete tutto quello che vi viene in mente sul budget. Questo giustificherà la nostra presenza. Noi, colonnello Marshall, andremo alla stazione di comando. But alright, hey, we can still PB by like a minute, so... Fuck it. And in my PB I fucked up the mongoose fight at the end. So maybe we can save more time. Delegazione del senatore Sheridan è arrivata. Sì, signor Presidente. Il consigliere del Presidente vi sta aspettando. Dopo di lei, senatore. And I was standing in the right place, but that little, little step to the left just fucked me up. Shouldn't have. Could have been so beautiful cutscene. SSH1, senatore Sheridan. Salve, Cassie. È un piacere rivederla. C'è un piccolo problema, Walter. Il colonnello Marshall non può accompagnarla. Ho ricevuto ordini precisi right. dal presidente. I mean, Calvo. even though we fucked up Sank 3, still managed to gold Il Sank 4, which eh, kind of kind of made me a little bit. I wouldn't say less. Yeah, okay. I'm not nervous anymore because I know this is just going to be a PB and not a great PB. Stanno per avviare le operazioni. But um, it still felt felt good to get get some gold. And my sum of best is going down. Like sum of best is going to end up below 128. So I'm gonna start comparing to my golds now as well. Buona giornata, colonnello. And now here I'm going to try and do it the fast way, but I just take a lot of time. Just don't want to walk too far forward or anything, so I wasted time there. But I didn't grab any chair or anything like that to whack the guy, so just trying to do it a bit better strats now this quick save quick load could have been much faster just walk past this guy hopefully i'm still in time to get past this guy without being seen and i managed to lovely that saves a lot of time all right get this douche run around this guy and beat him there and here, I just think, fuck it, I'm not gonna go for the chair. He didn't even notice me. And then I think, what? Okay, is he going to now press the alarm or something? Like, what? That's why I stood still there for a little bit, because I didn't know what was gonna happen. And I kinda panicked and stood still. Wrong path, wrong door. Leave me alone, man, this is great. This is going great. Believe me. The way I run this game, this is going alright. Alright, get this guy. I take the time to pick up this chair to whack that guy, but he's going in the door. He didn't see me, so I'm like, okay. And then, I miss this chair. It's like, fuck! Why am I being so stupid? What the fuck is this? And then he notices me very early. 
and I'm like, okay, now I'm fucked. Now I'm fucked. But just before the game registers a fail, I managed to get him in the back. That was really lucky. Alright, don't fuck it up. Good. Good. And another gold. Because even though you think it's slow criminal, for me this is still a very fast way of doing it compared to how I used to do it. Alright, whack that guy first so he's already dropped his uh, AR. So that we can just pick it up on the way there. Here I fumble a bit with the weapons. Alright, decent headshots. That one as well, quickly reload. Alright, not too bad. That wasn't too, too shabby. Decent kill. Quick switch to the key, really nicely done. Like, I was really surprised of my own um, capabilities there. Very slow on the quick save, quick load. Alright, now, now I'm just kind of fumbling around with jumping and picking up the body. All right, first one beautiful. I'm thinking, all right, good, good. But then, no. And then this douchebag's in my way. And without realizing it, I drop him. Like what? Okay. Miss this. And then first he reloads. Lovely. All right. Miss it again. Fucking leave him there. Like I'm just wasting time. At least I get this jump to kind of make me feel better about myself. But I think, fuck this shit, we're not gonna do this anymore, let's just walk. Just wasting time. Now that guy died very quickly, and that guy quickly enough. Alright, that wasn't too bad killing those guys. How much time did I spend? Um, a bit more than... No, this is week 4. And Gog says that I spend about 200 hours. But I mean, sometimes the game is running and you're doing something else. So it's not completely 200 hours of gameplay. But um, yeah, just to simplify, let's say 4 weeks, 200 hours. Alright, now here I start to... To fumble start to get stuck on everything I start to make mistakes I wanted to check if my AR is loaded and I just get stuck everywhere I'm a fumbling fumbling okay grab the fucking grenade let's go right. and then a bit high the nade I run around the wrong way I think fuck no Double check if that guy's dead. I pick up one grenade too little. I forgot to pick up one nade, but I didn't notice it here yet. I only notice it in the next level. And just in time, I killed them. Moriremo insieme, numero 13. E con noi l'identità di numero uno. Niente potrà impedirlo. So yeah, all in all, it could have been that I was here at like minus 210, maybe minus 220 if nothing went wrong in Sank 3. Yeah, maybe even more. Minus two and a half I could have been here. Like, it's such a shame. Dobbiamo lasciare la base. Troppo tardi. Dammi il codice d'accesso. Presto. So, I'm just going to practice the ending from hotel onwards a few dozen times and then uh, we're gonna go for uh, the sub one and a half.
Now here, if I would have known that I had one nay too little, I would have gone and picked it up right now. But it's still on the counter there, I didn't notice it. In the next level I'll find out. Yeah, but you don't need that many medkits in this level. I have more than enough. Then here, I get stuck on the railing. Like, fuck. Then I almost fall off there. I'm like, fuck off, man. Stop bumbling around. Stop making these stupid mistakes. Alright, made sure to reload. But that doesn't help, I've noticed. But alright. A little bit bad grapple. Here I get stuck on the doorway. Making sure I get the lockpick. But it's all still very slow. Slow on opening the door, slow on shooting the nade, but okay. Let's just finish this fucking game. MPB. Then I notice, fuck, I don't have enough nades. I should have four, I only have three. And then I die. Then I think, fuck it, I don't have enough nades, let's just use this. I'm like, okay, reload. What the fuck, man? This is the last thing in the game, yeah. The last boss. Alright. And then... I shoot too high. And I shouldn't have retried. I should have continued. But I think, fuck this. Like, that was too high. This... Can't be serious. Get stuck. Get stuck. Fuck off. Alright. Now. I do try the nades. Comes from the wrong side. Like, fuck off, man. I don't care much about the run anymore. I mean, even if I PB by a second. Like, fuck this. Like, it could have been so beautiful. I messed it up. It's really not what I wanted. Now I know where he's gonna come from. So let's do it. Hopefully this works. But like I said, I'm gonna practice the ending from hotel until the end. A lot of times. Just to make sure that I know that completely by heart and I won't make any stupid mistakes anymore. <laughs> and now, the moment I start climbing the ladder, you can add three minutes to the time. And that's about the time it's gonna be. So now it's just a question, is this going to be a sub? Um... 31? Or is it going to be above... Eh, a 31 something? Okay, andiamocene. Congratulazioni, brutta carogna. Tutto okay, Wally? So the question, is it gonna be... More or less than 53 seconds. <laughs> and... Okay, minus 52, so <laughs> this is gonna be close. I think I, I think I wasted a little bit of time in this last level on getting stuck. So if we can manage to prevent that and do this as fast as possible, then this might... This might be... A sub 131. But I just missed so many things. I fucked up so many things. This could have been such, such a beautiful run. And it wasn't. It's such a shame. So 
So, the idea, of course, now is um, to keep trying. So, I'm gonna get myself something to eat. And then I'll be back and we're gonna try and beat this PB live instead of offline. But this was an offline uh, attempt that did turn out to get PB. So I just thought I'd restream it. Give a little bit of commentary here and there so it's a bit nicer run to watch for the submission that I do as well to speedrun.com. So yeah, let's see if this is a 130 or a 131. Did I manage to save that 0.9 seconds that I need on this level or on this split? Ah, it's very close. I know this is. It couldn't be closer. It couldn't be closer. Yes. Like, yes! Alright, we got a 130. I mean, it's a really sloppy, shitty 130, but we got it. So yeah, thank you all very much for joining in. 